Now, uh, hello everyone, no respawns here. So we're back in the sanctuary. This is my modded sanctuary, which I really will do like a detailed tour at some point. But I haven't finished it yet. Now, in this video, I am building my character's... I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. It's turned out, initially, the idea with us, I was going to put... Okay, you see where the workshop house is? It's going to be like an chem shack. That was initially the aim here. Also, one, because I wanted an area where they could make some cook... Well, another area where they could cook up chems, because I actually <laughs> have quite a few areas where you cook up chems. Oh, by the way, before I ramble, we're using the... As you can see here, the grated floor from the warehouse. And then we're using the scaffolding to actually get it into place. Now, what I'm doing right here is I'm just raising it up and I'm sinking in. However, I have to take off those conduits first. The reason why we're using the scaffolding, not the pillar, is the pillar is a little bit too small to actually work on this part. And we need to raise it a little bit higher than the pillar can go because you... Okay, so another aim for this was I wanted to build a structure above the garage that was a bit more blended because often when I put something up there it looks really noticeably separate now you'll see in the tour those who are on Twitter have already seen the tour already um, I do like a, a brief little tweet out a video earlier but basically it's blended perfectly and it looks really good my whole vibe with this version of sanctuary is normally I like to build on the roofs and I've done it to you with the sole survivor house I don't know if I'll look over briefly in a second I may not may but I've kind of put a, more of a smaller shacks on the outside because I thought that, though it looks cool, you know, put a lot of foundations on the top and have these, you know, big buildings on top of buildings, it looks a little bit unrealistic. So anyway, it looks like this looks really cool. And once we've actually, oh, you can see that, there we go, that, that building in the back there, which I haven't actually put anything. It's going to be my communications building at some point when I can be asked to do it. Okay, so hell rather. This one was an interesting little build um, because I was a bit... I wanted to use, I know the structure is because I've done this before, which is using the warehouse pieces like this and having it so it's roofed and it basically has a kind of a bit more of a, an unusual structure. However, the issue where you get, that works, I'm so pleased with that. Um, the issue that you get with the warehouse pieces is that they look really shitty and bland really easily. So a lot of what the building section of this video is, is me basically like, okay, building the structure. I'm like, right, how can I make this look a little weird? Now, you have to put the walls on, you'll see in a second. Oh, and I did want loads of greenhouse pieces because I want a lot of natural light in IRL. In real life, I don't actually like natural light too much, but in my builds, it looks quite nice. It periods. So we go, we're just squeezing this in. I have to have a little bit of a, shall we say a fiddle to actually get these roof bits in but also we've got to block up those holes so to snap on because obviously it's three squares across you have to put the ceiling bits in and only use the thin one and then snappage snappage and there we go and they can snap on perfectly there isn't a glass actually did i even check i don't think there's a two one square thick glass floor but either way we've got we've got a grating it's fine it's fine it's all right it's good it's grand so right now, if you look up from the outside, it looks really, really bland. So I'm like, right, I need to now texturize it a little bit. Oh, just the record as well, I've got a nice structure, which I'm going to try and do a m more videos. This one, be the test one, I think worked really well. Those of you who watched my last build video, what I did was um, I said I couldn't decorate live because it was just hours of me scrolling through menus, which is completely true. So what I thought I might do is I'm going to do these kind of short builds, so like kind of small build like this, and then a bit more of a longer tour, which I narrate and kind of that way, because I'm using quite a lot of mods in the decoration, it, I thought it would be a good way of kind of, you're getting a build video, but also getting a decorative video. We'll see anyway, see what you think of the format. Lots of rug glitching, obviously we can't use the pillar so much in here. I had to glitch that in because there isn't actually, a, annoyingly, a single square piece, but it's fine. Now, this one, I mentioned again, it'll be in the link. This is the Unlock Settlement Objects uh, by Dan and uh, Andrew. Is it CX or CW? I always forget. CX, I think. I always forget <laughs> what letter it is. And um, I've, I've got that link permanently in the little bit at the bottom. So definitely get that mod. Because you can see he's always updating and he's added loads of these new wooden pieces, which are absolutely grand. Now, the way I do this, I do it wrong the first time. Because we can't sink the pillar in, right? But we need to block off that hole. Now, what I should have done was what I do afterwards, but I decided to leave in my mistake. So I've matched it up to that part there, thinking, oh, that'll be the right height. But obviously you can't sink the pillar in, so now you just raise the pillar up, and then you can glitch in. 
because you don't need to sink the pillar in, obviously, but what I've done is I've, I've not been paying attention because that's completely and utterly wrong because it doesn't need to be that height at all. What we need to do... This is a really useful technique, by the way. There. And then we put that on. So we build... You basically just build... It's a really useful technique for kind of plugging up weird-to-reach holes is basically pre-building the part that you want to block it up measuring your fix fixy piece oh look at how excitable that snapping is as well look at it it just shoots straight up i don't know why i don't know why it's being a bit of a bit of a knob cheese really Ugh. anyway i like these these i'm gonna make more use of these so there we go look at that look at that oh 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 suits you sir oh oh gorgeous gorgeous right now if you go around the outside we'll see look look at how crap it looks on that side oh it's so bad <laughs> it's so awful however i got to you it's fine so now we're basically taking those bits off and being right let's just make this look a little bit weird and this is i think something i really want to kind of push and try a little bit especially with the warehouse pieces especially because they're so bland and shit there's there's no way to describe it they're just kind of kind of wank really um like if if, if there's too much of a, a space basically they just look off and weird and wrong and you i find that you really need to well i mean this is for my opinion, but i feel i need to kind of change them or add text to them in some way or mix it up but fortunately now with mods on ps4 we've got so much stuff to do that so i also really really like the fact i've done this kind of like natural light kind of centerpiece straight for it's it's cool i quite like that so we're just gonna now this show's gonna go this so i end up building kind of like a little bit of a makeshift um thing so it's a thing it's a thing also my stupid wall end would not snap in because it's an absolute prick i don't know why oh, was that? i have oh yeah i have a little bit of a a bit of a moment thinking i can like put a wall piece in and then snap it in but no because fuck me but it's fine because we'll use ye olde select all rug glitchy huge and a flippity bob and then uh, move it in so it's grand it's grand it's all right we've got you i've got you i really like this room a lot and um as i said that like, initially was meant to be like a chem shack and it's now turned into my character's kind of office stroke lab which i think you quite like i i, I quite like it it's nice to have a personal space it i kind of modeled it similar to how i tried to do you might have heard someone driving and screeching across the road then. Sorry about that. Just someone deciding to noisy ass bus or car or something. But, you know, I, I don't know why there's a cigar box there as well. I actually have no idea why there's a cigar box up there. So we've got the... Oh, also, there are so... I need to make use. I was quickly just scrolling through here. There's so much new stuff in this mod. In the misc tab for structures. Like, the wood tab. Like, bridges and stuff like that. So I'm going to make use of them. I just don't know where... So a low key, just gonna pop some stuff. This is just gonna be basically blocking up the hole in a weird way, okay? It's just about mixing up the textures a wee bit. Fortunately as well, these seem to have quite nice collision. Now, initially I was having a thoughts, and then it has other thoughts. And I have a much better thought. You can see me thinking. See me thinking? There we go, here's my thought. So basically, I only recently added these chain link fences into the tab. Now, I was a bit worried, and it is a little bit too small, but it actually, it actually works. It looks like they've just kind of grabbed a, a fence nearby and put it over the hole. I'm well aware, by the way, that with, obviously, the building that we have, we could easily have just blocked up with wood, but it just, you know, it looks cool, doesn't it? And that's the only thing that matters in my book. So, now, you're going to pillar glitch this in as pretty much the same way you did that piece of wood that we used to block up the hole, you know, the, the one at the back. However, I didn't match this up. To the board i kind of estimated it. it was a bit bit of a cowboy move a bit of a maverick you know living on the edge however i probably should have actually because you see it's a little bit too low on the top but i'm not bothered that's why i didn't bother redoing it. i'm like Aah. it's meant to look a little bit it looks cool look look at that looks much better like it doesn't have that same just bland structure right anyway we're going to add the railings on now that's a bit of a boring part um and then we'll go straight to the tour in the tour basically i've tried to Give it this style of, like, the story's progressed a little bit. So, for example, even though I'm up right at the start of the game for my character, I've decorated with the idea that this character has added to it. And you'll see what I mean anyway. I hope you, hope you guys think it's grand. Right, so here is the finished tour. Now, 
I'm quite pleased with this. Firstly, let me show you the outside and exactly what I mean in terms of I wanted this structure to kind of look like it was obviously, you know, I want it to look like it was a, you know, added on later, obviously, you know, it's this fucking corrugated steel monstrosity on the side. However, the way this blends in, I'm just really pleased with it. Like it, it doesn't look like it's floating, which has always been my issue with this one. I'm going to be doing the same kind of thing on this one over here, and I imagine it'll be a little bit harder due to the annoying shape, though I think probably be able to manage it. I just might have to be a bit more creative. And I've got a similar thing with that shack I mentioned over there, which will be my communications shack. I might have this one as like a medical one or, or some kind of shit. But this is kind of my office, and I'm quite pleased with how it worked out. I'm also quite pleased with the fact that we've kind of... I probably should move that rating back a little bit actually but I'll do that another point but still ignoring the fact that there's like clippage with the texture there it, it breaks up the detail a little bit because you know if you're walking through the doorway here and the first thing you see is just a giant blank wall it would just look a little bit wank but let's go inside shall we I will also at some point show you guys my generator and exactly how to do it I like that it's a cool generator cool so now, let me explain my decorating style. I've mentioned this quite, most people know what I mean when I say this, but I just feel as if, um, sometimes I need some clarification. I think last time I did this was on the shop decorating video. Right, so you don't actually want to decorate 100% realistically, as in how you would decorate a house. The reason being is because that'll look probably bollocks. Given the tools that you have available, it just won't look very good. It will not look like a house. It just won't feel right. It'll just feel a bit bland and dull and lifeless. And I get comments reasonably regularly, but like, oh, but you know, that's, that's, you know, people have actually sent me, you know, full-blown emails about, oh, this is how you should decorate a room. Like, no, 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 it isn't. It's about having a theme and a style. It's, it's similar to how Bethesda decorate. Let me just, before I give you a breakdown what I mean, let's go over here for a sec. So, I, I, this is an odd thing to mention, I know, but it's just that I, I get this comment quite a lot. And it happened in the last video, and I just thought some people were just not in a malicious comment in any way, shape, or form. But I look at this little area here, yeah? Doesn't actually make any sense. They've got, okay, they've got, you know, that measuring thing there, I guess. Random lantern, you know, freaking typewriter and shit. And it's just kind of, there's obviously an idea there, but it's not, it's not 100% realistic right and my best advice would to go through play um bethesda decorated structures and actually have a look at what they've placed ultimately you're limited by the tools that you have so that obviously does force your hand for most of the time but it's about kind of going for a theme now my theme with this is this is a story office so the idea being that this is something which has bits of from all over the game in it. Now, obviously, I'm, you know, I'm actually only level... I'm level 14 or 15, actually, in this character, because I spent so much of it building already. But at the same time, I... And obviously, I still want to leave some space as well, so my character can actually, you know, improve, because this is his wee office. But I wanted to... Yeah, like, for example, you know, I've got bits from Far Harbor over there. I've got my first Deathclaw kill over there. I've also got the Silver Shroud over there. Bits from the Institute. I'm actually really pleased with the Institute contrast. Because, you know, it really looks like this has been nabbed, even though this character wasn't unlocked at the Institute. Also, OCD Decorator actually has the bobble heads, and I didn't realise, and this makes me happy. Also, those shelves are an absolute fuck to decorate. One thing about OCD Decorator person, I can't remember who actually does it. Could you maybe make a version that doesn't require you to actually have the original item? Because I would had would have had more medical equipment, like telescopes and microscopes and shit here. Just don't. I just haven't picked them up yet, so it's only what I had. Dog meets bowl. But yeah, it's like this isn't really. This isn't as in how you would decorate a room technically. However, it it makes sense given the context. You know, look at the when you start up the game and you look at you know the 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 menu, like and it goes through that red rocket. It 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 looks weird. Like, you wouldn't see any, but it's kind of makes sense. Like, this guy has, you know, just kind of scavenged everything. You've got the boat from Far Harbor, radio, shit like that. It's all been brought up here. I still want a fridge that I can actually open up. We don't have the uh, fridges there in a mod, in mod format yet. It's got a Murica flag. It's just, yeah. I, but anyway, I, ignoring that little ramble, if some of you get what I mean, some of you don't, but I should probably not talk for too long. But yeah, 
this is what I've gone for. You know, it's the idea of, I, I really like this. I really like this. I'm going to add more to this. Also, that totally works. Um, the reason, the motivation for that Institute one, one, actually, I'm pleased I went for it. But also, the other one doesn't work yet. Oh, and by the way, those of you who have meant, noticed this, these are in the decoration. So you need unlock settlement objects, and it's in the decoration tab. The MISC one. And it floats. It would be better if you could put it on a surface. However, basically, you can actually just... You can just slide... It, for some reason, it doesn't have a weird bug, so you can just slide the desks. It's actually the perfect height, you see. So you can actually just slide desks underneath it. So you're not too much of an issue, but it does take some getting used to. I'd rather just be able to put it on surfaces. But, ah, uh, well. So anyway, I hope you guys like my little wee office. Think it's cool. Gives you some ideas. I'm incredibly chuffed. I'm going to do that one soon, and I'm also going to finish this. But I probably just... I've already built that now, so there's no point doing a tour on it. <laughs> it's just slapped on the side. It's fine. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. I'll see him up to. See my latest memes. I've been playing Dragon Age Inquisition recently, so you can see me tweet out how I'm not sure if I actually 100% like the game or not. Still, um, I think I like it. I'm not sure. It does. It's different from the, the first one. Anyway, I'll talk to you lovely people soon. You take care.